completely. Oh, we are recording this. Guys, is a little bit different. If you notice any visual changes, if you're watching on video versions, audio changes on there. Uh, we are using a new system. as the Raw Wrap-Up by the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters and on the Blab.ims as well here in Pittsburgh, PA, in the wonderful Mayhem Studios. And with me uh, again in this interactive edition on Blab of the Raw Wrap-Up, it is Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York. How you doing, sir? I feel like we are in the introduction of the Brady Bunch Sorg. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And yes. I am, I, I'm, I want to say Bobby. Bobby Brady. You're Bobby Brady? Okay. Well, the, the Jan is uh, uh, our, uh, representing at RWA Pro on the Twitter. It's, it's Wheels from uh, California, PA. How are you doing, sir? I am doing wonderful. I mean, well, what can I say? I'm the Jan Brady. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha. I, I like how you even looked up at Sorg. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. That's that's my favorite thing about this already. So, <laughs> so we're on a new system, Blab.am. Uh, see if we can get some more people involved. We're getting some props over there for wheels. Thank you so much, Henry, joining here uh, in the Blab. Please share it out. Tell a bird uh, uh, of uh, that little button over there. Uh, so we're going to try this. If it worked out, if we like the video audio quality, we like the interactions already, we're getting a little bit more interaction than we are over on uh, the Google Hangouts. And uh, I hope, otherwise, it shouldn't change for the rest of you. It'll still be on your subscriptions. It'll still be everywhere, and hopefully, you'll have a better vibe going on. So Monday Night Raw happened, but first, I want to say a uh, big shout out to our friends, IndieWrestling.us, SliceOnBroadway.com, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. Please support them, support the show via them, and everything else at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. So let's get into it. Raw tonight. First of all, I I think the biggest thing for me out of tonight's Raw. Has to be, uh, has to be Kane. It's all about Kane with me. Uh, it's very 90s feeling for me. You know how I love backstage threads throughout the show. I think we had a lot of fun. Hey, big thanks, Henry, for sharing the show out, by the way. Um, yeah, Kane, he was very funny tonight. Yes, he mm. was. Um, until he turned into an 80s rock band inside an ambulance. Oh, give the poor guy. Hey. It looked like there was a poison concert about to be started. I mean, give the poor guy a chance. He had the that, that, that poor smoke was probably blinding him. I mean, he had to get that poor fruit roll up on his face and everything. And you know, you know, the entire time I'm like, please, just like he goes back, changes, and he's okay. He goes back, changes, and he's okay. And and other than like any wardrobe malfunctions that were happening are completely acceptable. I'm completely down with this. I think I, I I love it. I just love the idea that he's the demon cane. He comes out just like I I was shocked that he just sold and then just went to no sell the uh, the leg injury. <laughs> well, sword sword. They did have a classic leg fixing sound, and I thought we were back to the Jack days of the bone crunching action. I missed the noise. I missed the noise I, on my TV. I love the crunch. I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. God. He just fixed his leg. Because <laughs> he's the Demon Kane and he can do that. Um, which like reminds me of an episode of Supernatural somehow. But anyways, but no, it was so much fun. It's theatrical. It's 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 just fun at this point. And you know that they're going to be overshadowed by Brock and uh, Undertaker in the cage of Hell in a Cell. So this is this is a nice uh, fun workaround in the meantime. And I love that we went back back to this. We have a lot of history with Kane and Seth over the last year. And uh, and 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 you, I'm just I. Great. This is the best thing they've done with Kane, I think, in several years. I, I enjoyed him giving him the gift of the severed head. <laughs> oh that, my God. that was legitimately that one was, of those things. Oh, I laughed my butt off on that. I'm like, I, I, I dug this up all night for you. I'm like, wow. They even That's brought it. back the whole. That was it. It's amazing what um, um, a shovel, a flashlight, and and, like, and a reference to a twenty-year-old movie can do. <laughs> <laughs> if it was oh. Katie Vick's head in the box, that would have been amazing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I thought we were going to stretch out that what's in the box a little bit longer, seven style. But okay, this is this is fine by me. <laughs> 
So a lot of references, a lot of good stuff. I think a lot to appreciate tonight, okay? Um, between that, uh, good on Xavier Woods having a match with John Cena. I know it turned into a tag team match playa. Uh, there was a lot there, of that. There was a bit of that tonight, and I think that's okay. There was somebody, and I think uh, Jimmy Corderas, of all people, called him out on Twitter. They're like, oh, this first segment's going to go 40 minutes with all these people. I was like, yeah, because like a half an hour of the of the authority talking really helps. You know, I mean, I we started with action, right, guys? I mean, I whether you think of the action or not. For the we second started, week in a row, actually. We started with action that wasn't Sheamus and Randy Orton. Exactly. Uh, I think we're, I mean, I know we're managing expectations here when it comes to Raw, and uh, but but I think we're, we're, we're in the positive uh, when it comes to this. Has Sheamus been on since his failed cash-in? Um, I, no. I don't think so. I thought he had a match with Owens last week. I might be mistaken. No, no I, don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, and, and I'm with Henry out there. By the way, on the on the group therapy thing, I want Shelby just to show up in general. They're like, like, okay, the HR person didn't work. Let's bring him back, Doctor Shelby, because that worked out so well the last time. Um, why not, right? So, anyways, um. Sorry, I'm trying to read the chat room as they're going. I have a weird <laughs> angle on my monitor here. So yeah, the, the HR cool. person. Um, I don't know where she went from the time that Seth attacked Kane to the time Kane came back as as a demon. Um, she might want to reevaluate his mental faculties at that. So, point. so I, I'm I'm surprised you don't have a bigger issue with this, Mike, because I know you with your logic in wrestling. Oh, I have a huge issue with this work. I, I know you have a huge issue, but thank you for suspending, thank you for going down the rabbit hole with me and suspending your disbelief enough for this one, um, because like there seemed to be an unacceptance of the fact of what everybody saw at the end of Raw when he got drugged down to hell, um, which I think makes the thing so much sweeter. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you have this. You have to suspend disbelief and logic in a storyline where the guy will just come out with a mask and drag you down to hell and and be a demon cane and 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 all this stuff and and and, and poison concert in the back of an ambulance and no sell the injury with a crunch from the from the Rome breakers of the nineties. I mean, I, it's that's the. I I think that's that's wrestling storyline crazy magic right here, and I'm completely with it. Yeah, but see, Sork, I'll accept stuff like that as long as it it doesn't have to exist in the world of reality, but it has to exist logically. That's a good. That's a good. Like uh, watch, like Lucha Underground. None of that shit was realistic. No, 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 no. But I bought into but, every little thing. But the whole point is, like, you look at Lucha Underground. The logic of the world is persistent, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so like. The lot, like, like when you look at WWE, like, okay, this stuff makes over here, but it's like a whole different. It's like you know, you're on Saturday morning cartoons, and and the physics of Smurfs is different than the <laughs> physics of Darkwing Duck, right? And you accept it because the next half hour, this you're accepting it because it's a different segment with different people. You know? Well, also, Sorg, Smurfs are smaller, so they can obviously jump higher and further than Darkwing Duck can. I mean, that's just physics. All right, Wheels, you were saying <laughs> tonight. By Xavier Woods, of the dark, the uh, uh, was it Darkwing Ducks or was it no? Duck- no, Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck and Ducktales. I went, oh my god, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got a comment again from Henry in the chat. Henry in the chat room says Smurfs have mad hops. They do. They, they do. absolutely do. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. So again, Xavier Woods, great. Ha- him having a match with Cena, turning into the thing with the Dudleys. Um, I thought the lady stuff was again kind of turned into a tag match, but I think it's fun. We have Paige pipe, uh, dropping pipe bombs uh, as she was last week. Uh, yet, yet an uneasy alliance because everybody hates Bella's. Mm. You have a problem with this because she's where company. is Sasha. She's getting ready for. Uh, that when we talked about this, Sasha is not going to get much play because but... they have this big event happening over here on NXT. She's going to step aside for a little bit. Maybe she'll be in a few matches on SmackDown. Maybe they're going to throw her on main event and superstars. Hey, reminder: there's good matches that happen on those shows. Just skip all the recaps for Raw because you can only see like the thing that happened at the end of Raw like so many times in a week. Trust me. Yeah, Cesaro versus Heath Slater is going to be a real hot one, Sorg. Hey, you know, just to see Cesaro throw around Heath Slater is going to be fun. Yeah, but I, I mean, I feel like she, I feel like Sasha is needed for this. 
I feel like she is. Like I know I understand why they're keeping her off TV because of the Bailey stuff. But I feel like uh, she has to be included. Like they brought back Natty for whatever reason. And Natty wasn't involved Natty. with this at all. I love the idea of Nat- Natty being like a mini feud that happens around everything else. Like you have you know, the Bellas and, and Paige and like you have like this crazy triangle thing. But then like we can go on SmackDown and have Paige versus Natty happen over here. There's a lot of stuff going on and not just randomly. Let's have Big Show punch out Mark Henry two weeks in a row. You know, like there's something to it. Everybody has motivations more than just, oh, you're the filling guy until he gets to the pay-per-view. Yeah, I guess. Like, I mean, I'm, it's, I'm it's liking just... that. I'm just liking that broad kind of package that's happening there. There's, a, I mean, again, it could get screwed up. Like, like, like when the Divas Revolution started, and we had all these three-way, three, three on three on three matches and everything like that. And there's just two main girls involved. Like, like obviously that didn't go well. I like the possibilities of this. We'll see what happens in the coming weeks again. Um, so going back through the show, Paul Heyman shows up. Now, I know we disagree on this, <laughs> but um, and, and, and there was a lot of admittance of, of stuff. Even Big Show really getting jobbed out at that, that um, Raw Rumble. But I think they're... We all know what's going to happen as smart marks or whatever. We, you know, we were like... This no, is- sorry, just as people. As not people? even smart marks. You think as people? You think Look the little at the kid? Look the last time they faced. You think the little kid in the John Cena shirt is thinking, "Man, Big Show's completely going to lose like he always yes! does." Yes. <laughs> yes. You know okay. What? When okay. I'm at work I'm and I see someone in the WWE aisle, I will say, "Who is going to win a fight between Brock Lesnar and Big Show?" Ten out of ten times, that child will say Brock Lesnar. Okay. And even ten, ten out of ten times. The, the wheels. I said, even Stevie Wonder can see what's going to happen in that match. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Even Helen Helen Keller can hear Big Show being pinned. (laughs) And she's dead and deaf, Sork. (laughs) Yeah. Hold on, I'm writing this down as a show idea. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on, hold on. You're giving me ammunition over here. (laughs) Okay. Um, oh, can... talk about the return of the king. Mm. Return of poor, what? Poor oh. Barrett. Oh, well, return of King Barrett. Yes. Yes. Uh, Matt Carlin's missed it because he was watching the Pirates game. He didn't expect Barrett to ever show up on TV again. Uh, so I think he expected Barrett to get a hit during the Pirates game and not during Raw. Oh. Wow. Uh, but anyways, you know, I, I, again, another wrinkle. Let's see what happens with him. I, I think it's just another side thing going on between this cosmic wasteland superhero y kind of thing that's happening. Actually, didn't did Sakar get hurt last week? The one, the one move looked pretty ugly. Probably. So, so Probably. maybe maybe this was a dropout to replace. Uh, but either way, I, I think it's uh, I think it's a good move. Uh, I, well, I, it's always good to see him back, and I hope they do something a little more significant with him. I don't think they're going to, but I, I, I mean, I like Barrett. I, I, I just don't think. Tell you what, there's going to be some amazing stuff on pre-shows and superstars for the next couple of months. <laughs> that's about it. Which again, I want to sell that. Like that, that's you know, it's not just raw. And I know, uh, yes, I'm, I'm trying to entice you to watch more WWE TV because you need to, right? Uh, but uh, no, I think, I think when they're like, well, you don't, you haven't seen this guy for a while. I was like, yeah, but they're doing good matches over here. You know, I, I think the, well, I haven't seen them on Raw, therefore, you know, they must be in the doghouse. They must be this, that, or the other thing. It's like, no, there's just a lot of positions to fill, and somebody has to be on main event. Somebody has to be on superstars. So, um, to the point where I'm watching Total Divas, I'm catching up because I just got my Hulu back and uh, on the season. And, uh, and, and like, I love that they were, like, in Cleveland, Ohio for main event. Like, not SmackDown main event. Like, uh, just they were on main event. So, that's that's where we're at. Like, Interesting distinction there. But anyways, mm-hmm. um, anything else from tonight you guys thought were interesting, uh, not interesting? Um, uh, the last five minutes was pretty great. Actually, the last five minutes was pretty great, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, wow. I Really, on Reigns, Reigns and Wyatt is going to, like, they're going to release a DVD on these guys eventually. It keeps going. It keeps building. They build in the teams, and then they broke off the teams, and they built the back the teams back, and then broke it off. Like they're they're definitely the common thread through this. Um, Reigns, I thought was looking good out there, even as a solo. I, and I think he's been looking great lately. Due but to- they, they need a no DQ step. 
They do yeah. need a no DQ strip because to do that. before before the match turned into a um, like the cluster at the end, mm-hmm. it was really not that exciting. It really wasn't. Even the crowd wasn't into it. And I'm like, this is supposed to be like the big blow off. And I feel I feel, I feel Buffalo is a rough crowd, like just a sad crowd. <laughs> Like I got that impression there. Like I, I not that I I don't know like what they were depressed or whatever the case may be. They're just like hard to get into it. You know, they did not care one bit about Rusev at the end there uh, when we were there last time. And I just I don't think I don't think it well works. that's because they didn't know that was happening. Sorg, mm-hmm. they they didn't know the last time they were in Raw in Buffalo was when Rusev had the title the title win after Raw was off the air. Right, people didn't know that was that wasn't on the show. Well, they I mean, just I'm it saying even the rest of the night just seemed seemed flat in the long run. Yeah, okay, so I mean, looking on Twitter, that's all I kept seeing was a lot of people saying how that crowd wasn't really into anything until basically Bray and them woke him up with tucking a techie like a lot on dart, <laughs> which was amazing. Now, now um, wheels, it, it's good that we have you on here. Um, you can give firsthand experience. What, what is it like being used as a foreign object yeah. in a professional wrestling? I see. Match? And background wheels here was a participant <laughs> of sorts as a crowd member. Like he was a legit crowd member. I don't think this was even planned uh, where uh, uh, our friend Jimmy DeMarco in the IWC had uh, wheeled him in his wheelchair, like shoved his wheelchair uh, with him in it towards the necro butcher. And the scary thing was that how Necro Butcher ran like he was scared of this man wheeling towards him, which I don't understand. We still don't know to this day if he was afraid of uh, pe- the handicapped or black people. Uh, because potentially both. Potentially both. Maybe it was the combination was scary enough. Or maybe like Wheels made a face like this, like, ah, as he was coming at him. But it was probably more like, ah. What? Oh, I don't know. I mean, none of us, I think, had the chance to ask him either, so... We'll never know. We so never we... saw him again. <laughs> I scared Necro Butcher away, folks. But anyway, so so as anyways, your 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 um take on this. Um honestly, mine was a little easier than that poor techies guy because I mean I've never seen a guy get launched like that except for Ray Mysterio. <laughs> At least the guy landed on something a little softer than a side of a truck. <laughs> well, I don't know, he landed on Roman Reigns. That's pretty hard. <laughs> That's that's a hard body to land on. I'm sorry, ladies. Kept going that. Oh my god. I I wanted to see him get launched again. <laughs> like if they started playing volleyball with him, and just started throwing him back and forth at each other, that would have been fantastic. Oh, uh, so I mean, it. I think as a foreign object once used, that guy did a pretty good job. I love that we get this deep-seated insight on this show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On that note, guys, if there's any, nothing else that we need to cover for the evening, that okay. the span the of, of three hours that we care about, other than that, we did have a comment that uh, uh, Bo Dallas's gut needs its own Twitter account. Again, always right up against... The- I, I believe it should be called at Bofay. There you go. Uh, always, always, uh, Bo Dallas strangely close to his uh, um, un- alleged brother's uh, segments on Raw. You know, sure. it's like it's like they they were like, you know, we we'll would just have a bleed over every once in a while, maybe. You know, maybe something, yeah. something. He he's like the forgotten kid on Family Matters. Yeah, we also found out that SummerSlam will be in New York two years in a row. Yeah, but you know what that means? NXT is going to be in New York two years in a row. Let's hope New NXT is still awesome. It will be. It will be, Sorg. Development. Sorg, wrestling. in two years, we are going to see an epic 60-man Iron Woman match between Dana Brooke and Eva Murray, and we are going to love it. 60-man Iron What? 60-minute Iron Woman oh, okay. match. Man. In two years, can't wait. Bank on it, Dana Brooke. That is scary. How much Garza is into Dana Brooke? <laughs> that is scary. But for that, you can check that out on the Midweek Wars. One of the fantastic shows. These are the wrap ups. These are the raw ones uh, that we do at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can join us on the main show uh, every Tuesday night live. WrestlingMayhemShow.com to join us there for that or uh, the uh, Indie Mayhem Show at 11 p.m. Eastern Time on that same very 
page and you can check out all the shows subscribe to everything so much more at wrestlingmayhemshow.com i'm at sorgatron at mad mike he's a contributor at mad mike 483 on the twitters to wrestling mayhem show also uh wheels he is actually a sound engineer for engineer for renegade wrestling alliance at rwa pro on the twitters they've had some fantastic releases lately including a, a throwdown match between uh sanjay dutt and amazing red for that company's cruiserweight championship and another three-way including the uh, awesome jason gory uh coming up here uh in uh, the next month uh is anything else i'm missing guys uh no, I think I think we pretty much covered everything. The good, the bad, and well, the Orton. Yeah. So with that, thank you everybody. Check out our friends again, indie wrestling.us, slice on broadway.com and pro slash WMS. We'll see you guys next time.